Grade 8 math number 1.3b, put real numbers in order. Between any two real numbers are other real numbers. So we saw a couple videos ago when we broke them into a tree, real numbers break off to either rational or irrational numbers. That's the end of the line for the irrational numbers. It's the only thing on this branch. It's pi, square root of 2, square root of 3, three they're the square roots that are not perfect square roots. For the rational numbers, that's everything else. So you're either an irrational number or you're everything else. See? So to compare and put real numbers in order, we can make approximations for the values of irrational numbers as decimals. We can approximate pi or the square root of 2, can't we? And we can use perfect squares to estimate the values of other square roots that aren't perfect. We know the square root of 4 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, the square root of 9 is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9, and the square root of 16 is 4 because 4 times 4 is 16. These are perfect squares. We can use these to help us with ones that aren't perfect. So the square root of 12 is going to have to be in between the square of 9 and the square of 16. So it's going to have to be in between a 3 and a 4. So we use 3.5. And 3.5 plus 6 is 9.5. Now to know if this side is less than, greater than, or equal to the other side, we can already see we've got 9.5 on this side and a 12 on this side. So we already know that this side's bigger. This side's only 9.5, and before we even started, this side's a 12, so we know it's bigger. But if we wanted to figure out how close we can get to the square root of 6, we figure it's got to be in between the square root of 4 and the square root of 9, so we can use a 2.5. We figure it's going to be about 14.5 for this side, so we were right. It is bigger on this side. Well, this can help us list a mix of rational and irrational numbers in order from least to greatest. So, to put in order from least to greatest, we look at what we've got, and we make a list of our perfect squares to help us. And we say, okay, we figure the square root of 12 is about 3.5, because it's in between the square root of 9 and 16. So it's got to be in between the 3 and the 4, see? So we pick 3.5. Seven's easy, it's already there. It's just an integer, a whole number. And pi plus 2 would be approximately 3.14 plus 2, so we say it's about 5.14. And the square root of 25 is 5. So now we can put them in order. The smallest one would be the square root of 12, so it's first. The 5, the square root of 25, would be next, then pi plus 2, and then the 7. We can chart them on a number line. The square root of 12 is the smallest, then came the square root of 25, then pi plus 2, and then the 7. See? What if we had pi squared and 9 and the square root of 74 and the square root of 89? We can do the same thing. We can do pi times pi, so it's approximately 3.14 times 3.14, and I got 9.8586, so I rounded it to 9.86. We know 9 is 9, that's a whole number, right? And the square root of 74 has got to be in between the square root of 8 and 9, so it's about 8.5. So I tried 8.6, and it came out to 73.96. That's pretty close to 74, so I'm going to stick with the 8.6 approximation. The square root of 89, well, that's in between the square root of 81 and 100, so I figured it is somewhere around 9.5, but I tried 9.4, and I came up with 88.36. That's pretty close to 89, so I'm going to use that as my approximation. Now we can put them in order. The smallest one is square root of 74. It's only 8.6. Then comes the number 9. Then comes the 9.4 as the square root of 80, 89. And then pi squared is the largest, and we can put it on a number line. Square root of 74 is the smallest, then came 9, square root of 89, and then pi squared. Just like the order we have in our set here, see? So that would be putting real numbers in order. Those are rational and irrational numbers mixed together that you put in order, see? That's not that hard, is it? Now if you're really confused 
you can see this little note down here. And you don't know what rational and irrational are and these real numbers, what the heck does that mean? Go back to the grade 8 math playlist and watch video number 1.2c or 1.2b and it'll explain the rational, irrational numbers and it'll explain even uh, integers and fractions and decimals and all of that. Okay? So, our next video is going to be, um, I believe, on exponents. So, I'll see you there. Bye.